Hello everyone. In previous session, we have seen what is customized, how does this architecture works, then its overlays, base. Now we will see transformers in customize. So basically, customize is a template-free declarative management tool for Kubernetes resource. So uh, for Kubernetes resources, there are two tools we are using, that is Helm and Customize. But the Helm is complex one as we have to prepare the chart in it and the customize is the simpler, simple one. We have to just declare the uh, script or you can say the syntax and the declarative step, whatever the steps. And uh, that's it. We don't have to provide any expression or annotations. So this is the simple one. Now, customize has two main concepts, generators and transformer. So generators used to create Kubernetes manifest and the transformer is used to manipulate that Kubernetes manifest. So you can say that transformers modify that Kubernetes manifest and generator uh, create that Kubernetes manifest. So in transformer, the Kubernetes manifest is already created. Now, in customize, everything is a transformer. You can say like this, as in fact, the transformers have a general generative power too. But always remember that transformers run after generation. Yes, this sentence is absolutely correct. Without generating or without creating any uh, Kubernetes manifest, you cannot modify or you cannot transform it in any other. So, the transformers run after generators. Now, transformers in customizer components that manipulate or modify Kubernetes YAML manifest during the customization process. So, without touching the base manifest or without uh, changing the original manifest or you can say the YAML, the Kubernetes, uh, the transformers in the customize only modify the Kubernetes or you can say the customization.yaml this file. So they enable you to perform tasks such as adding, modifying or removing fields in the manifest. This enables environment specific configurations without altering the core deployment definitions. So how does transformer works? Base manifest, you start with your base manifest containing the core definitions to your deployments, services, config maps, etc. And then customization file comes in the picture. Here the magic happens. You define a customization file that specifies how to transform your base manifest. This file can reference patches, overlays and transformers. The overlays uh, we have seen in the previous session. So without touching the base manifest, we have whatever changes we have to make or whatever transformation we have to done. We done it in the customization file. Now the next one is transformers in action. So customize applies the transformers defined in your customization file to your base manifest. These transformers modify specific fields or perform actions like adding labels or renaming resources. Transform manifest. So the final product is a set of transform manifest ready for deployment. These manifests are tailored for your specific environment without touching the original definitions. So without touching the original definitions means here without touching the base or without touching the original file, we have just made the changes in the kubernetes.yml. Uh, so this is called the transform manifest. Now, built-in transformer. There are some uh, default transformers, which are name prefix, adds a prefix to resource names. Example, dev for development environment. As we have seen this in the previous uh, session, we have taken the dev for the overlays. In that uh, overlays, we have taken the dev folder for the changing the uh, development environment. Now the next one is name suffix. Adds a suffix to resource names. For example, if you want to add a new version or you, if you want to go to updated version, then we are using the hyphen v2 for a new version. This is the name suffix. Now the image. Updates image tags in container definition. So these are the docker images you can say. Customize provides uh, labels also. Adds or modifies labels on resources. Then annotations, adds or modifies annotations on resources again. Then name references, ensures references between resources are updated when names are changed with other transformers. So if the name is changed, then it ensures that the uh, whatever change we have to do in the other transformers or in the specific transformers. Now the use cases for transformers are 
environment specific changes easily swap container image tags for different environments like development staging production using transformers this ensures you are deploying the right image version for each stage so uh, if you want to perform any uh, changes in the particular or you can say the specific environment stage then with the help of the environment specific changes you can ensure that you are deploying the right image version for each stage resource organization maintain clean and organized deployments by adding prefixes or suffixes to resource names or labels using transformers this helps distinguish resources across environments yes configuration injection inject environment variables like database urls or api keys directly into your deployment through transformation this keeps sensitive information separate from your base manifest so without entering or without changing anything in the base manifest you can inject the environment directly in your uh, you can say customization file so no need to change the base so this uh, this way you can keep the sensitive information separate now the benefits of transformer are usable base manifest maintain a single set of base manifest for your application transformers handle environment specific configurations promoting code reuse reduce complexity simplify deployment management by separating configuration logic from base manifest improve consistency ensure consistent configurations across environments by applying transformation in a controlled manner so thank you